As you recall in the last video, we installed Linux CNC from the binary hybrid ISO, and it installs 2.6.0 PRE5, or PRE5. So in this episode, um, again, we're still running in the virtual machine, uh, so I can show you how to do this. <clears throat> we're going to log into uh, this, uh, Linux CNC. Remember, I set my username as Joe H, and my password is CNC. Now the very first time we log into Linux CNC, it may take a little bit because it'd have to have to kind of build your desktop and all that sort of stuff. Um, but what we'll see is that uh, there are basically two ways that we can go about uh, upgrading to Linux uh, uh, 26 or Linux CNC 2.6.3. And the first way is pretty obvious. You see a message that will pop up on the screen here that says software updates are available. There are 42 updates available. Click on the notification icon to show the available updates. So if we click on this little icon up here, uh, we're asked for our password. And if you're not familiar with Linux, uh, Linux, um, in order to uh, make modifications to the system, normally calls uh, calls for the use of uh, the super user root. Uh, but it's kind of it's unsafe to log into a Linux computer and use root all the time. You can inadvertently mess something up. So anytime that you're going to make uh, changes to the system, it will ask you for your password. And uh, by default, the first user that you create has access to uh, the root user through a program called sudo. S u d o, or sudo, um, allows you to do things as root. So we're going to put in our password cnc and hit enter and then the um, application program called apt-get that uh, does the um, uh, stuff in the background for doing updates will run inside of update manager here now update manager this will show you all of the programs that currently can be upgraded or updated for either for security reasons like we see here or just because there's newer releases of the software and if we scroll all the way down to the bottom here we'll see third-party updates, we'll see Linux CNC uh, from version 2.6.1 to version 2.6.3 and this is the newest version. So we could just simply hit install updates here and it'll do it for us um, and we'll come back and do this but I want to just show you another way so we're just going to close this for now. I'm going to open up a terminal by clicking the little terminal icon down here at the bottom and we're going to do this um, by command line. It's kind of the way I prefer to do it, although it's really six of one, half a dozen of another. We're going to do that by typing sudo. And then we're, the program we want to run is called apt-get. And what we want to do is we want to update. Now update will go out and read all the software repositories and see if there's anything uh, out there that can be updated. So you hit enter, it asks for your password. CNC in my case, hit enter, and we'll go and connect to all the different repositories to compare what it has on the computer to what's available out there. And this could take a few seconds to run here if there's a lot of repositories. Now once we're back to the prompt, we can actually um, run this program again, sudo apt get upgrade and it will tell us all of the um, packages that can be upgraded and you see those listed here yada 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 and if you look you will you should see um, Linux CNC is part of that so you see there's the RTI or the uh, real-time um, uh, modules that are available here's Linux CNC here's Linux CNC dev here's the documents so we could do that and then here's a say hey do you want to continue if we hit yes it will go out and download all this stuff and install it and we can see it or I'm just gonna say no because I told you we would do it in update manager so I'll hit no and then I'm just gonna type exit to leave the terminal now the other way uh, to get to update manager if this little icon isn't here for some reason we can go to the applications menu and we can go to settings and then we can go to um, update manager which I think is here somewhere there it is so we click on update manager and it should start up again because we're going to make potential changes to the operating system we have to supply the password CNC 
and then update manager should come up here and it again shows us the list of everything that is uh, available to upgrade or update so we're going to go ahead and tell it to install the updates this can take some time sometimes what I like to do is just move this up and then expand this here so then I can sort of watch the updates as they come in as it downloads them it's important to run updates on your machine um, as time goes along because there's, there's bug fixes or security fixes particularly if you allow your machine to connect to the internet my machine normally is not connected to the internet um, sometimes I'll put a uh, USB wireless uh, adapter on there and get on the internet just to do updates but most time um, when I create toolpaths or something I'm usually creating them in uh, Windows uh, sometimes Linux um, but then we'll just copy those to a USB key drive and then um, move them over to the machine I don't have any real particular reason why I do that I just uh, most of the USB uh, my shop you know there's no internet out there other than wireless and most USB wireless uh, adapters that I've found don't seem to work well with Linux now if somebody out there has one that uh, uh, will work natively with Linux where you don't have to use the uh, the, the, the Windows drivers or something uh, please please um, send me an email let me know what that is because I'd like to have one or maybe five and you know how it goes so anyway um, once it's downloaded all the software here you see that we're installing the updates and, and because I have this terminal window expanded it will show me the progress of those updates as they're coming down. Now there's quite a few updates it's going to take a little bit so I'm going to uh, pause this and come back into it. Uh, remember that uh, for any questions concerning Linux CNC uh, LinuxCNC.org uh, is your friend. Uh, between the wiki, the forums, and other information on the website, there's pretty much um, uh, nothing that you can't figure out with a little uh, perseverance. Uh, again, I really do highly recommend reading the Getting Started Guide, and I recommend reading the uh, User's Guide. The other two guides I, I would s suggest reading, uh, but maybe wait till you're a little bit more comfortable with how um, Linux CNC works. Now, while this is installing, if we come up here to the Applications menu under CNC, we'll see we'll see that that documentation is there. So there's the Getting Started guide, the um, um, User Manual, and the Quick G Code reference. And so these are pretty handy things to have. Um, there's other uh, software installed uh, that could be you know pretty pretty useful and then uh, also you know you can install uh, any piece of software uh, that you can norm that's in the um, Debian uh, software uh, repositories uh, one one application I probably will uh, install is uh, LibreCAD uh, I like that program so CAD drawing program and uh, there's some other stuff that I'm going to see if we'll work on here too. So anyway, I'm going to pause out of here and when this is done I'll come back and and uh, we'll launch um, Linux CNC just to make sure that we are in fact running at 2.6.3. So I will see you just as soon as this is done. Okay, now that the updates are uh, completed we'll we'll get a message here saying that the system's now up to date and we can close and uh, we can close the update manager as well so now we're going to launch Linux CNC just to make sure that we're up to the proper version we're going to go to applications menu CNC and click Linux CNC now when we go to actually install the KRM or Linux CNC for uh, KRM when we set up its profile not to be confused, we've already installed Linux CNC, but when we set up the profile for Linux CNC, we'll use StepConf uh, to kind of help us get that set up and then we'll modify the files from there. But when you launch Linux CNC, um, you'll see that there are all these sample configurations that you can load, and underneath the sim or simulator, here's some Axis machines, and we're just going to select this first one and select OK. 
and then uh, it wants to know if, it, if we want to create a sample configuration in the home directory so we can customize. We'll tell it yes, but we'll go probably go off and delete that later. Okay, it tells us that it's been copied over. We hit OK, and then Linux CNC should start, and here we see it is in fact 2.6.3. And then we get the notification about the Axis um, tool changer which we can ignore. And we have some other errors down here. I'm not sure what these are, but uh, it could be because of the simulator we selected or something else. But the big thing was that we wanted to make sure that um, we did, in fact, get updated. So there's uh, Axes uh, uh, running the Axes window manager, I guess we can call it for Linux CNC um, version 2.6.3. So we're 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 doing good here. So I'm just going to exit out of that. Okay. And again, I just want to point out that uh, under the CNC folder, here's the getting started guide. This is uh, well worth taking your time to read. Um, um, and go through it and just kind of get your feet wet. So until um, that would be good homework until I get a ch an opportunity to actually get uh, this installed on the PC that I'm going to use to control mine and get the uh, record my desktop stuff set up on it so that um, I can actually record from the machine that's going to be running the, uh, the, the, the KRM rather than from a virtual box. So again, thank you uh, very much for your time. If you have questions, feel free to contact me. Again, you can go to myheap.com. You can click the contact us and fill this out and, and the capture codes and, and I will get that email and, and I'll respond to you as soon as I can. I've been quite busy here lately, so please be patient. If you have uh, more immediate needs, uh, I would go to Linux CNC, go to uh, the forms, which is where I'm logged in now. You'll see me as Joe Hildreth. Um, you can PM me there or you can post messages in any of the number of uh, forums uh, f for that purpose. So again, um, thank you for your time and, um, uh, and patience with all my stammering and stuttering. I'm really not a very good speaker, but hopefully this helps out somebody. Uh, thanks again. Have a great day.